Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa and Andre Arlovsky. He's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful, diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Arlovsky is 16 years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 21 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Andre the Pitbull Olsky. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Ty Bam Bam Tuivasa. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Are you ready? So here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.A. Laws for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose, Nama Yunus, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. I mean, he's cutting him down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice punch lands. All right, single collar tie now. Nice counter shot there. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Good body shot. And they are exchanging leather early. A little single collar tie there. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 
Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. 26 total strikes have now connected for Ty Tuivasa. Nice hook lands. Oh, big left hook there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around the around his guard. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Oh, straight right. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Got the single collar tie. Boy, Ty Plump. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Back to the feet. Whoa! Oh, straight right. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind him real well. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Tui Vasa. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Orlovsky. Right under the elbow. By both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. I mean, geez, Louise. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Oh! Oh! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tom Bambin! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? It's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.